Hey, what's going on everybody? Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker here, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we're constantly and always still learning. This is a very short video today because I want to talk about the Digital Photo Thanos Pro 2 and how they've updated the Steadicam portion of it, or the Trinipod I believe is what they call it. Now I actually reviewed this a year ago and I did a 20 minute one take for a client. The system performed really well, I'll leave the original review link down below. But the major criticism I had was that I had a very light camera setup with a very medium sized gimbal. And because of that, I couldn't really balance it and I needed to add a Manfrotto 502 video head, which is quite chunky, to the top part of the Steadicam. And then on the bottom, I had to use the lightest weights possible just to even get it to balance. So I believe other creators had also talked to Digital Photo about this and they've now updated the Trinipod to account for that. And now you can move the entire system either left or right to achieve perfect balance. So I'm happy to say that it does work now and I can use the heaviest weights on the bottom because when I do it this way, I can actually achieve two different setups. I can either have a short version or I can have a long version. And this is great because the long version allows me to get lower shots without actually having to squat down, although I still do if I want to get super ground level shots. And then the short version, this is great for people that are maybe doing interior scenes because the last thing you want to do is have this huge, huge steady cam and you possibly might either hit somebody or hit a wall and what have you. This compact version allows you to move through these smaller corridors and be able to still get some smooth shots. So at the end of the day, if you are still wondering, should you get the system knowing the original flaw? Well, if you are using a much lighter setup, you're pretty much good to go with this new updated system. Probably the only limitation in some people's minds is the budget because it does cost $1350, which I know is a pretty penny for just a system to fly around a gimbal. But if you really think about the like the real professional stuff, they cost way more than this. And knowing that this budget version is actually able to get you some very smooth shots like I did before, I mean, if you know you need it, this is well worth it. And hey, that is the end of this video, everybody. If this video has influenced your purchasing decisions, I do have some purchase links down below. Again, if you do use them, it does help support the channel and it gives me more time to produce reviews and tests for you. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. And until the next one, like, subscribe, and share. See you then.